I currently have a Dr. Octorex set up with a basic loop. Let me go ahead and play it for you now. See, nothing special, nothing tricky about it. It's just a good old fashioned breakbeat. I'm gonna go ahead and set up an alligator now. Note, I have my reason preferences set up where no preset is loaded when I load up the alligator. This is a bare bones alligator with no settings. I feel that this is the best way to understand it as we move forward. Now let's run the loop as it goes through the alligator. Whoa, notice that it sounds dramatically different. Let me break down what's going on here. You'll notice the pulsing gate lights going on over here. These lights indicate that the gates are all opening and closing. This is what creates this choppy effect. What makes this so special is that all these knobs and effects directly affect what the gate sounds like when they open and close. And we'll get more to that when we get through into other videos. But for now, let's take a look at what happens if I stop these lights from blinking. I'll do this by turning off the pattern function within this alligator. When I do this and hit run, look what happens. Nothing. I'm obviously playing something into the alligator and signals coming in, but no cool booming breakbeat. So just to reiterate, no light, no sound. Now, if I raise the volume level under the dry section of the alligator and play again, see, I've got input. The volume knob in this section acts very much like the mix or dry wet knob found on other effects devices where you can initiate a little bit of dry signal which plays along with the affected signal. I'd really like to show you this though. If I run the Dr. Octorex and then hold down the gate button, I actually do get signal coming in. My point in mentioning this is that you can manually open and close the gates independently from the pattern generator. The most important thing is that a gate opens to allow sound through, and these gates can be opened more than a couple of ways ways that can be very, very advantageous and cool. All right, we're starting to get an idea of how the alligator works on a basic level. In the next video, let's start getting into the pattern device and the important part it can play in using the alligator.